Hi, this is Ray. If you've ever not been able to find your queen and you're not seeing any evidence of your queen, no eggs, no brood, no larva, and it's been a few weeks, you're just not sure whether or not you need to take action and requeen that hive or not, here's a little trick that you can do to discover whether or not your hive has a queen. Here, let's, let's count the queen cells. So I've got one, yeah, I've got two, three, I've got, whoops, four, five, I've got one here, six, I've got one here, seven. So I've got seven queen cells on the face of this frame. I have a couple of hives that I don't believe have a queen. I'm not seeing any evidence of queen as far as eggs or larva. If they do have a queen, then it would probably be a young virgin queen that's running around or maybe even a queen that was not even properly mated and um, so that that queen is, is not being productive at all. But I'm not really positive, I'm not positive because there are some times that I'll look for a queen and won't find her and I'll come back two weeks later and oh, there's eggs in there. And so sometimes what I'll do if I feel like a hive is getting in trouble, getting past that day to where the workers may start um, thinking about laying is I'll put a frame of eggs inside of the hive in question and young larva, really young larva. I usually put eggs in there, let them hatch because really that larva when it's, after the egg hatches on day three and the larva is young, the larva is only one day old larva, two day old larva, three day old larva. That's where they make the best queens from those size larva. So I'll put that frame of larva inside a hive, come back three or four days later and see what's going on. If I find a, a whole slew of queen cells on the face of that frame that I put in there, then I know that they probably don't have a queen and they're making emergency queen cells like crazy. And so it's just a, a simple way to test. Now you have to have two hives. You have to have some available larva to be able to do it. Um, but I always recommend that you have at least two or three hives when you get started in beekeeping. And this is one of the reasons why. If your hive suddenly becomes queenless for whatever reason, you can always take a frame of eggs or from another hive and put it in there and let them raise their own queen if you don't have access to a queen or maybe it's um, you just want to let them naturally raise their own queen. So just a little trick for you. You can just kind of test it if your hive has a queen by putting a frame of eggs in it if you're not seeing any anything uh, that resembles a queen in there. All right, here's let me show you how it looks on my hive. All right, so here's what I've... Here, let's, let's count the queen cells. So I've got one. I've got... Um, yeah, I've got two, three... I've got, whoops, four, five, I've got one here, six, I've got one here, seven. So I've got seven queen cells on the face of this frame that I put in there just to see whether or not they would make queen cells as a way to test whether or not for sure they did not have a queen. And again, I didn't think that they did, but um, now I'm just going to go ahead and let them raise their own queen. When these queen cells get capped over, I may pull a few of them and use them in splits or something, but um, this is just a way you can kind of test if you don't know for sure. If you have a queen, but you're thinking you may not, put a frame of eggs from another hive, which again is another reason why I'm always an advocate. Have at least two hives when you get started in beekeeping. All right, that's it for today. Just a short video. Take care.